Well, right now we're on the back porch of the uh, Leopold Childhood Home. It was built in about 1890 uh, by Aldo Leopold's uh, grandfather. That I actually grew up in this neighborhood and I, I knew the Leopold family. And as it turns out, Fred Leopold's grandsons were classmates of mine. We would have these what interesting conversations with Fred. And one time we were over on the bluff and we were talking about the view out. The whole idea of the name of the estate was Luggins Land, or roughly translated in German, view to the land. And so, you know, how appropriate is that for Leopold to be raised on that kind of an estate? If we were going to talk about advancing Leopold's ideas in his hometown region, that we really needed to get serious about doing something that would be more visible to the public, and, and uh, we're hoping to preserve the whole Leopold compound. We would like to push forward this idea of a, of a Leopold Landscape Alliance by creating a partnership. Um, and the partnership would be hinged on something else that's in addition to the importance of the compound here. And that thing is landscape scale uh, planning. And uh, the idea of, of working with watersheds and private landowners to uh, try to lace together, weave together some kind of a better uh, conservation partnership and a better actual uh, ecological system on the land at the same time. So um, all the agencies that have representatives here in the Burlington area, we've talked to and worked with them trying to find common goals and, and ways in which we might be able to push forward in the future if, if this partnership starts to take place. So, um, so Drew uh, DeLang, the NRCS, uh, I guess let's see, he's the district conservationist here for a couple of counties. We've talked about uh, these goals and, and Drew's attended some of our meetings and we've also talked about this whole idea of of bottom land conservation where where the agriculture is so uniform throughout the bottom lands that the the plant and animal um, continuity from the river to the bluffs has been cut off. Um, NRCS offers some great easement options available to landowners uh, which will help with water quality benefits, um, wildlife, and just restoring things back to the natural state. Sand County Almanac is, is as much about human nature as it is about nature. And um, he felt that he needed to write a book that would uh, elevate our, our stewardship of the land to a, to a higher point so that we could get beyond that low and and I think, you know, we have done that. There's all kinds of hopeful signs that we have right now. You know, the eagles coming back. Um, the eagles perch right here in this yard sometimes, and so Aldo would be pretty proud of that. So Aldo Leopold was a pioneer for conservation uh, throughout the entire country. And um, when you look at NRCS and the conservation on private lands, um, he comes to mind as the, the model for conservation throughout our country, as well as Hugh Hammond Bennett. It's great to see that we've done 80 years worth of work on private conservation lands as a model as to what Aldo Leopold wanted to happen in the United States.